Well, when one thinks about all the accomplishments of Wildcat Athletic Director Greg Byrne, recruiting Rich Rodriguez or the baseball team's move to High Corbett Field might come to mind. But as Ashley Brewer reports, the hiring of Tony Amato to coach soccer is one that won't be second-guessed. Could this be the greatest Wildcat soccer team of all time? It's been something that's always been in the works since we got here. When Tony Amato took over in 2013, the program was in need of positive change. Just ask senior defender Schaefer Skadson. My freshman year, we finished last in the Pac-12. But after a trip to the second round of the NCAA tournament last season, the Wildcats have won five games in a row to start this campaign, a first for the program. The biggest difference is that we've been implementing things for two years and now the third year you just keep building off that so it hasn't been as much of like instilling the foundation. And after these early wins, chance for the lead. Go! Arizona has a chance to sneak its way into the top 25 rankings. We weren't ranked that high before so it just Every game that we win, we know that it puts us higher and higher. Ranked teams are the ones that are supposed to win the games, and we have nothing to lose. So we definitely bring it to light, and uh, we, we relish in that. The Wildcats now take their best start in school history into the Arizona Cats Classic this weekend. The Wildcats will host 18th-ranked Texas Tech on Friday, and then on Sunday, 14th-ranked Pepperdine right here at Mulcahy Stadium. Arizona soccer, you know, best season ever, and like stuff like that is like so fun to like be like, oh, I'm on that team, or like I'm a part of that success. Ashley Brewer, KGA9, on your side.